Yo what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the Space Mouse. I'll show you a little bit how it works um, out of game and in game, which was, um, it's pretty cool. It's just very expensive and I think the first thing I'm going to say, like this thing is mega expensive. It's £140 for the wired one, which I got, and it's 170 I believe for the wireless. And man, that's just to do what I need to do with it. It's just like totally... Like 140 quid, like right now, like the way things are, is just insane to be spent on this thing. But it's been out for a long time, and I was always like just against buying it because of the way like CCP took out the like the really cool features of the old camera and didn't like add them back into the new camera. And I will say, like the new camera is absolutely fantastic, and it was totally needed for the the way the rebalance the carriers and the fighters for the huge grids. Like it, it's not like I don't like the new camera. I just dislike why they didn't put the feature set of the old camera in the new camera if that makes sense so there's more of that in the the eve footage which i've actually already recorded um but for now let's i'm just going to boot up the the software for this uh, stuff just to show you how it works and that so as this is the desktop settings we've got the speed down again this is all personal preference right um when you jump into eve it automatically switches to the how the settings you've had i mean there's no like saving profiles or anything i don't think it's just changes depend on what you what programs you open so we've got the little viewer thing here to show you guys and if i just boot my phone up real quick and we'll try and match up the the footage i really it's going to be shaky cam guys i do apologize i'm literally just holding this in my hand um i'll try and overlay this on the screen as best i can and again apologies for shaky cam because I, I couldn't find me phone tripod for some reason so just turn uh, right turn left so we can push forward as if we're strafing forward or whatnot zooming in and out and again strafing side to side so this is going to be amazing for star citizen like as a stick replacement so yeah it's still it's like the muscle memory is the hardest thing and having the speed was really hard as well so you can there is a tilt option but what i find myself doing is zooming as well so you, you can actually disable those axes and just have the tilt or just have the zoom so Depending, like, as an Eve thing, depending on what shot you wanted, you could um, disable whatever access to make it look the smoothest. But man, you can uh, you can fly around these models pretty cool. And once me muscle memories like all sorted, I think this is going to just be like using a normal mouse, just like an everyday thing, right? So it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing that did also take us by surprise was just how less you've got to turn it. I mean, I'm turning it just a tiny little bit. Obviously, it is analog, so you can turn it slow or you can go fast. But the, the barrier between, like, minimum and maximum is just, like, very, very small. So I thought you would have to, like, twist it all the way around and all this sort of stuff. But nope. It, and the same as, like, pulling up and down. I mean, I'm sure you can... There is like separate sensitivities for like all the axes, but man, it's uh, you've just got to have like dainty hands, I think, <laughs> to get the most out of this thing. It's just absolutely ultra sensitive, right? And um, as you'll see in the Eve footage, there is other things which do affect that. All right, guys, now jumping into the game, uh, there's a couple of things you need to do to actually get this mouse to work in Eve. So there's a couple of settings as well as the speed settings, which sort of acts like your yeah, replacement inertia modifier because there is a lot of i'll just bring that up on the screen a lot of settings you can do like for the mouse itself so it automatically selects the eve online profile and it saves it every time you you jump in so that's pretty cool and there's all these obvious buttons here to to change whatever so we'll just close that so i found having it on slow it's sort of like imagine if you're power sliding a car and you've got a really like opposite turn into the direction you want to go so feels like really strange it is that has its uses like a really high inertia setting does have uses in uh, cinematic so you can like just do a quick turn and then let the the game inertia just do that for you to get the sweeping shot or whatnot but i found having it on fast to do like some direct approaches to gates and things and around like structures or following ships is a lot better for me so again that's just uh obviously personal preference so when you've when you've got the mouse connected this will pop up and also you need to be in the tactical camera mode, which is this one right here. So in the when they change the carriers around, I can't remember the name of the patch, someone will correct us in the comments or whatnot. Um, the grids became absolutely ginormous because of the way that rebalanced the fighters and things. And it was at that point when they took out the old features for the advanced camera settings and the old camera, which we'll get back to in a sec. 
So, what we can do now, if we just hit Control F9, that'll get rid of a UI there. So you can see, like, I'm just using the mouse here, so left click, all that sort of stuff. But when we're in the tactical, tactical camera, sorry, and we are right click, now we've got, like, an absolute free cam, and we can go wherever we want. So you can actually go, like, thousands of kilometers away from stuff, right? So that's, uh, that's pretty fine and dandy. Now, when we're, in, we're, when we're using the space mouse, which I'm going to start doing here, let's get rid of the mouse thing there. We've got complete, f like, six degrees of freedom to look around. So it's exactly the same as using the normal mouse in the tack mode. We can go, like, literally wherever we want. So it is, yeah, definitely going to take some practice this. I'm actually forcing myself to use this on my left hand as well instead of the right. Because I'm planning on using it in Star Citizen as a like a left stick replacement so I can use it for like strafe and left and right and things so I think that's going to be pretty intuitive the way that's going to be working so yeah still need a lot of practice I'm only like 30-40 minutes in to actually using this thing did that quick cinematic yesterday but yeah you can uh, you can scope around it's still not as functional or as cool to get actual ship views as the old camera I'll show you why in two seconds uh, I've got a really old video, like from like 2015 or 2013 or something, going over all the cool stuff about the old camera feature set. I'll try, like if you've got a spare 60 minutes guys, it's really worth looking at like the really awesome stuff we had, but I'll just like describe it really quick. So right now, um, we've got this thing called Track, and that's basically the old um, Setter's Interest uh, feature. Get this centered back on. So if we track this gate, it's going to focus on the gate, and it's still going to like sort of be linked to the view of our ship, right? But as soon as we like, if we right click, it's going to like destroy that and put it back into free form, uh, free cam. Sorry. So what we can do? Uh, let's set this. Let's make our ship the track. There you go. So you can see when you're tracking your ship as well, it's got like an auto orbit. Wait, I'm not clicking anything here. So that's your default. It just it orbits round by itself and tracks the ship. So it's got a really weird center, right? And you've got really no control because as soon as you move the camera, like that's me doing it with the mouse, and then you let go, it just continues back on its thing. So you can still double click around the place. You can get some good screenshots. This is how I do most of my thumbnails. I'll just like get a get a good turn so the ship looks like it's actually flying instead of being static. But again, like in the old camera, we had a lot of stuff where the camera was sort of offset to the ship. It's really hard to describe if you haven't actually like watched that old video or have used those settings in yourself. I mean, I was talking to Rambo yesterday. In our Discord, and he's like a super old player, and he never knew anything about those settings. I mean, they were pretty well hidden. But yeah, there is, um, I can't remember how I do it now, but I did it in the Kronos video where I got some other shots. I just can't remember how to, to bring that up. Right, let's stop doing that. And if we... So it's not free cam, so if we'll, we'll try and... For example, track this drum here. Really, you'd have to be a literal fucking professional to, with this thing, which I'm sure people are, but I'm still struggling to, to actually get it. To follow like a small ship, let's scoot back to the battleship. So it's not bad for these things, like for anything slow. Like a slow passing shot's like really cool. So we can turn up a bit. So that's good like I like that like anything slow but I mean you're not going to be tracking anything fast and that's where the old setters interest feature was really cool because your ship was sort of locked but you at the same time you could move your ship out of the way and a lot of the time to get like if you're into your cinematics guys for eve or you're wanting a bit more sort of perspective on sizes of things if you get in your pod everything looks just massive right because of the, the I'm not sure like how to do it or whatever, but everything just looks so like ginormous. I know I'm in this um, like drum now, which is pretty small. But if I was in my pod, this battleship would look just absolutely massive. Obviously, when change the FOV settings and things. So yeah, this is how yeah you, you do the flying around with a space mouse. It's pretty cool. It's it actually feels pretty intuitive, but 
it's just the muscle memory I need to get down. And I think I need to disable like the zoom in, zoom out for when I'm doing the like the, the pan shots or whatnot. It's pretty difficult like not to click more than one thing. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it guys. If you if like I say if you've got time and you want to see something cool, definitely check out the video I've linked in the description. Uh, about the old camera feature set. And really, like of CCP like I lobbied the CSMs and everything for years to try and get it back, but like to no avail. And the only official response was pretty much at the start was like they've, they've got no intention to change it. So, I mean, that was ages ago. So hopefully with some persuasion from some people. Or if we get enough traction of people wanting the old set is interesting back. Because that's literally, like that one feature would be absolutely fantastic to get it to work in the new camera the way it used to in the old one. That would be absolutely fantastic for everyone around. I mean, it's free advertising for the the like the devs as well in the game, like making something look cool. Like even like a, like a boring level four mission, you can add like a thirty second intro, like cinematic intro at the start, and people will probably be more like in, intent to stay and to watch, you know. So and it, it also when I used to do the cinematics and stuff. It was, it just felt like going the extra mile a little bit, you know, even if it was like a 10 second, like little pass of a ship or whatnot. Um, just anything like that. I mean, it reminds me, going back to, if you guys remember Chessa, right? I know he like had a lot of hate or whatnot, but he never did like any cin cinematic stuff really. But at the start of his videos, like especially the archetype um, ones he did, he always used to do like a, like a no UI flyby of the ships he was using or like track and you know, it just it gave it the extra little bit of bit of flair you know so anything that helps will make the game look cool and bring new players into the game or whatnot is absolutely fantastic so i really hope you can uh bring that back ccp if you're watching the video i'll probably try and i'll tag um i think it's burger that does the the stuff for the camera or whatever but or i'll have to find out Oh, I did ask Suetonia, but he never got back to us, so if you're watching that as well, dude, if you could give us a ping, that would be absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. I'm going to continue to practice this, get those Drone Lands videos done, because they're going to be epic with us. Like, I'm really, really excited to get those done. Um, I think I might actually script them as well, because I want them done as professional as possible, right? And just one other thing as well, a little uh, future project. I hired a voice actor to do some uh, like a mission read sort of thing so we're going to be doing some voiced mission things just to show how awesome the game would be with some uh, voiced mission readings in and also some stuff from the rats you know like in local where they're calling um, like backup and things when the next spawn comes in we're going to get some shit like that done so it doesn't really cost loads I just did it on Fiverr but <laughs> the girl who was doing it she's Irish and so she's got like a really cool accent for uh, doing the readings and that so Hopefully that would be nice as well. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.